intro music. All right, so this is kind of a quick teaser. Um, uh, this is an Arduino with a resolver to and quadrature encoder converter. Um, one of the Linux CNC developers created this. Um, I don't know, it might be five plus years ago. Um, I've had these for a long time, but when I first got them, I played around with it. I could not get them to work. Um, I kind of just gave up because I really didn't need them. It was just kind of a neat, ex neat experiment to play with. But uh, I had some time late, uh, recently, and I thought I'd revisit this because we started looking at that uh, the um, Cincinnati lathe, which actually that is what those are the resolvers that it used, and this was the metric to English conversion. <laughs> it used two separate resolvers. I think I said that in a different video. But anyway, I revisited this and figured out that the reason why I couldn't get it to work is that um, these are labeled backwards. So resolver 1 input here is actually um, encoder output 3. So they're just reversed. And once, once I figured that out, it just started working. So, resolver. It's kind of cool. You send it a sine wave. Um, this is sending a 2 kilohertz sine wave into it. And then it reads back um, sine cosine. So it's three pairs of wires, in effect. This one actually, the input, what um, excites it, is actually three wire you can see the one I'm not using, um, center tapped. But anyway, um, so I got it working and then I hooked it into a, a Mesa 7992 to do the counting. And you can see here I have just HAL meters set up. Um, I have encoder position, which is one for every rotation and then uh, counts, and then I have RPM. So if I turn this one rotation, which is uh, 1024 counts, you'll see the position is one. If I can kind of get there, see? So, um, not super high resolution, but definitely good enough for a lot of things. Um, and plus it seems to track really high, res uh, really high RPM. Um, but I haven't really tested the limit. Um, and I asked Andy that, and he said, as long as it gets uh, seven, or uh, as long as it gets three uh, samples per rotation, it'll be fine. But I really don't know what that means. Like, how many, uh, I don't know how many samples this does per second, so I couldn't relate that to RPM. But, you know, I, I'm kind of swimming here a little bit. So I also have this hooked up. So the top trace is the signal that's getting sent. It's a two kilohertz sine wave, and then the the bottom two are the what's returning. So you can see one legs the other, which is kind of cool. And it seems to be pretty linear throughout the whole rotation, and uh, it's just kind of cool. Um, I'll put a link to the, there's a Linux CNC wiki that has the circuit and kind of a theory of operation that Andy created. Um, the, these, these resolvers have a lot lower input impedance than these. And these didn't work as good. Obviously the, what, the um, sine cosine that was being returned to the, the board was a lot lower signal. Um, so kind of weird, but, um, I have a, I have at least six of these too, so, um, and these seem to work way better. They seem to be a lot, lot less noisy too. Like I was having all kinds of problems with the signal going into it ringing, I think because there wasn't, just wasn't enough load. Um, but now this has smoothed right out. It looks pretty, pretty cool. And like I say, it seems to count and seems to be pretty stable. Like it doesn't seem to bounce around at all. So, anyway, 
that's my quick teaser on a resolver to quadrature encoder converter. Talk to you guys later.